Welcome to Blaze Master Presents Fireside Chat 2.0, our very own Blaze Master Chat for the year 2023. Over the years, buildings have changed, building materials have changed, and so has the fire hazard and fire occupancies. Who else will be a better person to talk on this than one of the key stalwarts of the industry who has been there for the last 35 years? He has not only seen the change happen, but he was one of the persons who has made these changes. I am talking about Mr. Kiran Gaude, who had served as the Chief Fire Officer and also the Fire Chief of Pimpri Chinchuad Municipal Corporation for almost 20 years. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Tell us something more yes. about yourself. Yeah, well, uh, I would like to say I was one of the officers who had joined the Municipal Corporation in the year 1987. I had put in more than 35 years of service in the position of the HOD, that is department head, uh, as a chief fire officer of the municipal corporation. Uh, I had seen a revolutionary change not only in my life, not only in the way uh, I uh, work, but I, uh, equally uh, with the municipal corporation also. Uh, basically speaking, I am I was associated with uh, civil defense as a volunteer through which I had entered into this particular field. Uh, in the, my college uh, days, I was a part of the civil defense volunteer wherein I had undergone some courses which were related to the firefighting, warden, uh, rescue operations and other uh, uh, fields uh, related to firefighting and uh, disaster management. And through that I had uh, appeared for the examination, competitive examination through which I got the uh, admission to a well-renowned college in the Southeast Asia, which is known as the National Fire Service College, wherein I had undergone the special course of the firefighting. And then it was an entry through which I had been a part of the uh, this emergency department, serving as a fire officer for the last 35 years. Good to hear that. So 35 years is not a very short period. You must have seen a lot of paradigm shifts Yes. Well, surely. whether in terms of uh, a small uh, city growing into a big city like Pimpri Chinchwood, whether a small industrial town with a handful of factories now becoming one of the Detroits of India, the biggest automobile hub, the biggest IT hub, and so many buildings and so many high rises in your city. What are the things, what are the paradigm shifts that you have seen in terms of fire protection, in terms of fire prevention in your jurisdiction? Well, I would like to uh, bring to your notice that earlier this municipal corporation, uh, Pimpreshin Chodi Municipal Corporation and the allied some of the municipal corporations within the regions uh, were not so much known to the public as such. The uh, Pimpreshin Chodi had uh, come up like anything in the recent years. It started with uh, twin towns like Pimpri and uh, Chinchwad. Uh, both of the towns were the rural towns uh, with all the rural inhabitants and everything. But a special thing of the municipal corporation area was that, as you know everybody, we had uh, learned in our uh, school days also, the penicillin factory from the Pimpri. And it was a turning point and after years, uh, some industries like Telco, nowadays which is called as the Tata Motors, and other big industries like Bajaj Auto, Bajaj Tempo, which is called as Force Motors nowadays, uh, SKF and all other companies, Sandvik Asia, Alpha Laval, they had come up and they had made this Pimpri Chinchwad Municipal Corporation turn from a village to a town, uh, to a to industrial town. Almost more than 25 years, this Municipal Corporation was being considered and was a big municipal corporation as the richest municipal corporation in Asia. But then again there was a paradigm shift from the industrial town to a residential. Earlier, if you see, the firefighting systems were just uh, being considered as just a small fire extinguisher which is being uh, fixed on a uh, wall and nothing more than that. But now, the entire firefighting system in uh, this municipal corporations and especially in Pimpi Chinchwad municipal corporation area has now shifted from the general traditional firefighting equipments like uh, fire extinguishers to a very sophisticated equipments whether it is a fixed type firefighting hydrant system or a sprinkler system or a detection smoke detection system to 
uh, our fire appliances from the fire uh, tenders to the automatic or semi-automatic uh, fire tenders which we call as water tower cannon. And CPVC is one of the replacements uh, to metal because it's six to eight times lighter and not only that, CPVC pipes do not corrode. So do you think you know, a material which is better than uh, me uh, metal will be a good thing for your team and your officers? Do you think Pune or Pimpri Chinchward will be a safer place if they adopt to a new technology in the future? Earlier, metal was the only thing which we had in our hand. Since the technology is fast aiding, there are develop, uh, tremendous development in the technology. So I don't think as such there is any problem uh, to replace uh, MS uh, or GI uh, by the polymer uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, pipes. I don't find any uh, problem as such, but again, uh, as I would say, again, it depends on where, how you are going to use it. And right now, I personally feel as per the NBC, these things should be taken into use in the first stage for the light hazards. If I may just add one step ahead, uh, the BIS 15105-2021 has also accepted CPVC to be one of the materials, as you rightly told, for the light hazard occupancy only. Yes, we need to be very careful. We should use the pipes or for that matter you know, any material in the categories which they are intended to be used and not anywhere else. Now, if I may ask you, if a high-rise building has a very good sprinkler system in place which works, uh, would you advise a high-rise building to have a foolproof sprinkler system so that your job becomes easier when you go there for firefighting? Because sprinkler system itself will address a lot of the challenges and that time your person, all they have to do is just ensure that the fire does not spread and rescue the people. Of course, the sprinkler system being an automatic system, it definitely helps in curbing the fire in the initial stages only. So it is an important part of the firefighting system wherein most of the buildings today requires the uh, uh, system in its place. Very interesting. So with this, I come to one of the final questions here to you. What would be your advice? Uh, to the residents of a new town, a new township like Pimpri Chinchward, where the people, the population is growing, the uh, buildings are going vertically, what would be your one or two advices? I would advise, on the contrary, I would request, I won't say advice, but I would uh, say I would request the uh, residents, especially residing in the tall buildings, high rise buildings, be cautious about your life. Be serious about your life and please give, give due importance to the fire safety aspects, whether it is a implementation, protection or the installation of the firefighting system or the safety systems. As nowadays we are giving importance to our physical fitness, to our medical fitness, we need to take cognizance of these uh, safety systems, of the fire protection systems and these systems need to be installed in the building as per the government laid down rules and regulations or the uh, laws which are uh, uh, made for that and not only that, merely installing the system won't be the sufficient uh, thing. To maintain that system, to know that system and to practice that system and keep intact so that it can be taken into use and keeping the well advancement and accordingly changing the system as per the requirement is also an important part which should be taken care of. I'll ask you a few very quick rapid fire questions and what I want you to do is not to think too much. Just quickly answer whatever I say. So here is my first question. What is one thing you like about Pune? Pune is with a straightforward nest and invisible twist. Absolutely, straightforward Puneite. With invisible twist. And my last question here. If you have to use a sprinkler system in a building, what would you prefer, GI or CPVC? I'm talking about residential building, light hazard. Equally both, uh, depending on where you are going to use it. Thank you so much, sir, Thank you. for these candid answers. With this, we come to the end of Blazemaster Presents Fireside Chat 2.0 episode 1. Keep watching this space. We'll be very soon coming with the next episode, which let me promise you, 
will be very interesting and equally candid. Thank you.